I can't help but notice in that entire rant, the amount of charisma that's oozing through your veins. How does somebody become more charismatic? Um, okay. Okay. Good question. So there is like some people just are more naturally gifted for charisma. And again, when I talked about dating earlier, a lot of guys are trying to put on a show. Um, that advice is good for people that naturally are a bit more charismatic where they need, they need to kind of just be a bit more chill. Don't be too try hard, kind of hold back and let the kind of girl come forward. Some guys just are like so boring to listen to. It's like watching paint dry. Like I, I saw this ad, I saw this ad, it was like a political ad. And I'm like, who is listening to this guy? He is so damn boring. Holy shit. Um, so if that's you, if you're the freaking guy that's boring, you start talking and people tune out and people are like, when is this guy gonna shut up? Um, then you need to work on that. So obviously when you talk about things that you like and you can create really, what it is is in, uh, in Enter the Dragon by Bruce Lee. He was in the very beginning, uh, he had this pupil that was asking him for advice and he was doing some combo. And you know, Bruce Lee was like, no, no, like, like again, again or whatever. And he, and he said, you're missing emotional content. So the way to be more charismatic is actually to sort of get into your body and feel the emotions. There's something called energy transference. If I am feeling really, really good, then automatically you're, that energy and that feeling is gonna transfer onto you. And if I'm feeling amazing passion talking about something, that's gonna transfer to you and it's also gonna transfer to the viewer. I know a video is gonna hit when I feel those emotions when I'm saying it. And then sometimes, you know, if I have to do a video a lot over and over and over again, and it's coming out mechanically, I'm like, yeah, this is, gonna, this is not gonna be good. Um, so you want to create that feeling that of passion or of energy or even of anger, if you're speaking about something that frustrates you, you don't wanna hide those emotions. You wanna actually kind of connect with those emotions and that will be way more powerful. I mean, I had a video and it was extremely successful as an ad. And it was like the video, the who else video. And I felt all those emotions. I'm like, who else? Who else is showing blood work, DEXA scans, elite lifts, who else? And I, was, and I wasn't like saying it in a salesy way. I was saying it like, literally like, like Brad Pitt and Troy. Is there no one else? And that shit worked. So you have to actually like get into your body, feel the emotions. And as you talk, let that, feeling come out. You do not have to be the most slick speaker in the world. You can stumble a little bit. You can mess up a little bit, but you have to be real. 